it's over there. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day. In this video, we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in New Game Plus with the Eleonora Spawn Blade, an incredible unique twin blade designed to be fast, stylish and very powerful. This weapon scales mainly with Dexterity and Arcane, it deals physical and fire damage and has a decent bleed build up as a passive effect, being such a good choice to play aggressively while dealing an extremely high damage. Blood Blade Dance is the Eleonora Spawn Blade unique skill, it's a fantastic flurry attack that hits the target multiple times and can be followed up with a cool evasive maneuver. When using this ability you will deal a lot of successive attacks, build up bleed really fast and most important you will deal a lot of stance damage allowing you to control the fight as you wish. You can get the weapon very early on the game, you will obtain it once you have defeated Eleonora Invader at the second church of Marika on the Altus Plateau. To get the best performance from this twin blade we are going to use AD on Dexterity and AD on Arcane. It is important to know that using the skill of this weapon will consume a lot of stamina, so a decent level of endurance is recommended. Also we are going to level up Fate of 33 to cast Golden Bow and Howl of Shabriri. As you can see, I didn't level up Vigor because I have to complete this fight without getting a single hit. Therefore, it results pointless to me to invest points on this stat. However, I know how important Vigor can be for many of you guys. That's why in the screen you can see an alternative version of this build that is pretty much the same but way safer. We need to have our Eleonora Spall Blade at plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. You can choose any armor you want but I feel like the running set goes very well with the style of the weapon. It has this Spear Monk vibe from Sekiro and I actually love it. The best talismans we can choose for this build are the Roaring Winds or Insignia, the Shard of Alexander, the Millicent Prosthesis and depending on how you like to play, you can choose between the Ritual Sword Talisman or the Red Feathered Rancher. To me and because of the nature of the run, the last one is my best option. If you do have one of these talismans, the Fire Scorpion Charm works very good with this build as well. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we will mix the Flame Showering Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. This one will boost our damage when dealing multiple successive attacks and it will stack with the Roaring Winds or Insignia and the Millicent Prosthesis dramatically increasing the performance of the build. I always tell you that the pickle turtleneck is a very optional item, but in this case, because of the high stamina consumption of the weapon, I think it's not a bad idea to craft some of these bad boys. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fights? I told you guys, <laughs> I, we just needed the right attack. <laughs> This might be the best weapon in the game, dude. Why no one talks about it, bro? What? <laughs> we just don't beat him. We just humble him, bro. Nice one, guys. <laughs> Hey little boys, good night. We don't we didn't even needed the follow-up bro. Oh I wanna see the second phase now. What a fantastic weapon, bro. This is the best weapon in Elden Ring, man. Definitely. The most beautiful mob set and the most powerful skill, bro. Oh my god. Man, the guy who discovered this trick, I love you. Okay, hopefully he will... Nice. <laughs> wow guys first try no struggles just full destruction 
Okay, with this guy it might be a little bit different. We have to be careful though. This weapon doesn't... Wow! It doesn't matter who's the who's the opponent, the weapon will just destroy it. I really thought that I was going to struggle against this one, but it seems like not. Nice. <laughs> I wanted to do it better, but this guy is just uh, so weird. Nice, nice, nice. Good position. I wanted to do it the uh, full destruction, but he will go into the second phase uh, no matter what. Yeah, that's the one that I don't like. I can be patient. Uh, wait. Yes. Nice. No, dude. Oh, let's go! We got it, boys! <laughs> yeah! That's how I imagined that, bro. <laughs> Okay, okay, homie, come here. Oh, that was close, buddy. Nice. You and me, boy. You and me. Let me let me see what you can do. Oh, you're dead. You're so dead, bro. Nice. No, you are close now. That's good. Okay, it's not that bad. What is going on, bro? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this guy is dirty. Second place, nice. I think if I stay here... <laughs> it wasn't that bad.
Oh my god, that was so bad. Let's go. Let's go. It was a tough fight, honestly, but it has to be done. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Show me what you can do. Nice. The hitbox, bro. The hitbox, man. Come on. Give me something. Don't do it. Nice. The hitbox. Let's go. What am I doing, bro? Ah! That was just neat! That's a good position. I ran out of stamina, bro. No way! I almost died there. I should have waited a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> Look how much stamina I have and I ran out of it. That's crazy. And this time I am not using the Stomper of Kraktir to deal more damage with the with the skill of the weapon. Tail attack. Oh, tail attack. Nice. This is very weird on this guy. Nice. What you gonna do? Oh, this is very nice. Oh, this is so bad, I could have broke the stance of this man. He's gonna do the spell thing. We just have to dance a little bit here. And we're going to be alive as... I promise, guys. We're going to be alive as long as we dance. We danced well. Oh, 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 oh we danced so good, bro. Nice. <laughs> this was insane, man. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Oh, no, I'm hitting the other one. I think I dealt that uh, a little bit of more damage that way. <laughs> You, you're still alive or what? No way, I thought he was dead. Oh, this is perfect, bro. <laughs> this is insane, bro. I thought he was dead, man. No way. Nice, tail attack. It was a little bit early this time, but it's okay. This is very good. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, no way! Oh my god, dude, this is crazy! He's about to die, bro. Let's do it, let's do it. Come here. Oh my god. Oh, you're done. You are done, bro. Oh, oh this weapon is wild, guys. Oh my god. In seconds, man. Oh my god, this is beautiful. What a fantastic weapon we are having here right now, man. Okay, guys, this this brother likes to push me a lot, like... Yeah. He wants me dead, bro. We 
Well, me too. <laughs> I was about to fail, bro. Where are you going, buddy? Boom. That's insane, bro. Beautiful, beautiful weapon. I like the I like the heavy attack. I like the skill. I love the weapon. Okay, little bro, let's see what we can do against you. Of course I have come, bro. What do you expect me to do? To not come? I'm the main character here. <laughs> oh, beautiful guys! <laughs> As you can see, the one the, the moveset of the light attacks is very insane, bro. It is one of the most beautiful movesets in the in the game. I don't know why I jumped there. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was even closer. <laughs> oh, dude, beautiful, bro. Oh my god. I have no words, guys. I was thinking about a cool phrase to say before killing him, bro. This is so good, bro. Oh my god, what a beautiful skill, man. What a beautiful weapon in general, man. Let's go. Okay, you will not do it this way. Oh, this is perfect. I love when he does this at this attack. Because I can go wide on him. Oh, look at this. Another one? <laughs> Holy oh, poor guy was destroyed, man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it was so well timed bro let's go <laughs> nice <laughs> in most scenarios i guess it will be helpful against placido sex
This girl, bro. It's over, girl. What a fantastic weapon, guys. Oh my god. I love this weapon, bro. Wow! <laughs> she got destroyed in seconds, man. This might be one of the fastest Malenia kills I have had in this series I, I am doing, bro. This is amazing, guys. Oh my god. And we have successfully completed the game with the Eleonora's Pole Blade, probably the best Twin Blade in the whole game. It's very powerful, it's very easy to use, and of course it looks amazing. I think that one of the best parts of this weapon is the versatility that it has, and it's not everything about the Blood Blade Dance. This weapon has a complete moveset. Of course we use the skill a lot because we wanted to showcase the full potential of the weapon, but the moveset of this weapon is also very beautiful. I really like the two-handed light attack combo. It's very powerful, it helps to build up bleed quickly and it looks awesome. I know that the skill of this weapon deals a lot of damage, builds up bleed quickly, but the most important part is the high amount of stance damage this skill does. In this run, I only used the stone barb crack tier in the Placidus Axe fight. I only needed in that fight because the weapon already deals a lot of stance damage. The only boss fight where I struggled with this weapon is Fortisax, but I actually struggled with that fight with any other weapon. And that's pretty much for this build, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That way you support me a lot. Have an amazing day, guys. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next one.